Here in the TEC, it's middle school and it's makeup week, and it's Bishop Guilfoyle taking on Guy with Catholic. I'm Time to Light. Virtually joined alongside me from about 75 ping away is Aaron. And I gotta say, this one looks like a Bishop Guilfoyle win just about every day. Rhodesy already up looking for some style, doesn't find it, but you can already see Bishop Guilfoyle in the attacking half and almost with two separate opportunities at a goal. Yeah, I mean, these, this is the team that 21 owed another opponent, so we are bound to see a lot of goals here as well, because Geibel Catholic, I don't like to say it, but I haven't been performing how they should be performing to make playoffs, but Bishop Guilfoyle, we've got a, we've got a W here, Bishop Guilfoyle are going to be scoring on the, on, like a machine here, so let's see if they can Put up is on the play in immediately. Mansicor dunks his opponent there. Does everything himself from the pass to the shot itself. All the players miss, unfortunately. And that's an immediate goal for Bishop Guilfoyle. Yeah, already starting off well, and uh, this is honestly what we expect. Just some housekeeping things. Geibel Catholic is technically one place below Bishop Guilfoyle. Geibel Catholic is two and three with six games won and nine games lost. Uh, they are minus three in their round differential overall. It hasn't been great for them. However, Bishop Guilfoyle has had a few reschedules, this one included. They're currently 3-0, they have yet to lose an individual game, much less a series, and there was a game where they 21-0'd Black Lake Valley. That was this season. It hasn't been all that long since that happened. Rhodesy clears their back corner. So on paper, these two teams are just a singular placement away. It's third place for Bishop Guilfoyle, fourth place for Geibel Catholic. But it's mostly because Bishop Guilfoyle, A, hasn't played as much games, and B, uh, has had way too many reschedules. That will change in the coming days slash weeks as playoffs kick underway, and Bishop Guilfoyle really solidifies themselves as a top three slash top two slash honestly top one team. Indeed, indeed. I mean, three on four. You must say it's gonna, it's gotta be close, but or two and four. Yeah, it's two and four. It's two and four here. It's, you gotta, you gotta say, three and four. Technically, oh, it it's is. technically three and four. Oh, technically, technically. Okay, so it's three and four. So it's gotta be close here. And I mean, you, you gotta say, three and four. They, they are both fighting for the playoff spots. Uh, are they? Are they? I think one of them yeah. is already placed. So once Bishop Guilfoyle is like a hundred percent in the place. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's going to be Gaibu. We're, we're going to be looking for an upset here to get another chance at qualifying because obviously this is the last time they can do it last week. So why not do it today? So I believe in them, but now it's up to the players in the field to. To, to maybe correct me there about a beautiful shot from Rosie. He's blocked out by his own player somehow. We've lost time to light here. I'll take it over for you guys. Not a shot from Rosie. All right, cool, cool. Oh, uh, Rosie CP gets a beautiful save there. Rosie got a shot on goal, but just couldn't get it. How he wanted it now. Oh, good dunk by Orthodox. Orthodox now gets it on the backboard, but Citrix gets it out. Citrix on the side. Well, gets 50 by Radizinski. Radizinski gets to the backboard. Rosie gets it out. Gets it over Radizinski. A little awkward for the Geibel side now. Now Bishop is on the attack. Now uh, Citrix goes up. Gets it past Rosie. His own teammates. A little close. Almost a shot from Geibel, but not close enough. And it's still. 2-0 for Bishop and Geibel still looking at, for that first goal that's gonna get them back into this. Oh, a shot from Rosie immediately ends in crossbar down. Beautiful shot by him. Radizinski, a mistake by him to pass it, unfortunately, to Rosie and Rosie, beautiful shot by him. Crossbar down. And 3-0 for Bishop Guilfoyle in the last week. Now, Citrix has the ball. It's a little awkward here. It's going to want to flick it. Oh, a little double commit. Might need some, some space for Geibel to shoot it, but couldn't. Ryder Zinski now. Oh, just to shoot it. <laughs> Pardon me. Misses the ball. Orthodox shoots it, but Rosie hits him. Citrix has to block that shot by 
uh, by by uh, CDB, but unfortunately, strands there. Now Citrix just like do go for air dribble there. Goes under a uh, little three guys go for the ball. Leave some space for Rosie to shoot in and open that. 4-0 for Bishop Gilfoyle. And you must wonder what can Geibel do here to come back into this. I'm not sure what they can do, but it's up to them. But me as a commentator and analyst, I think what they should do here, <laughs> pardon me again, what they should do here is get a grip on the ball because at this point you're just shooting balls away to your opponent. Get a grip on that ball, you might have some chances going in your favor because at this point it's not happening and it's only Bishop who's attacking at this point. Citrix now has the ball, she's gonna want to dribble it past Orthodox, dribbles it past him, really close to the goal, Rosie only needs to shoot it in, but he misses! Rydazinski gets it out, Citrix now gets it on the backboard, just to go for a double tap, but too hard for him to shoot it on an angle, Rosie shoots it, tries to get it in the middle, but can't, Orthodox. Ooh, just to get out, Radisinski gets out, goes up on the ceiling, no he does not go up the ceiling, now a little awkward ball in the middle, that's gonna bounce, oh a little a double commit there, Rodzi on the side while Citrix flicks it on the backboard, maybe can he double it in, that's officially a double tap, I wouldn't say it's a double tap, but it is a double tap, Citrix gets it in the back of the net, 5-0 and 2 seconds remain, it's been played, Bishop Gilfoy will take game 1 here, and in this best out of five series, you must wonder what can they do here to come back into this because it's looking hard for them. <laughs> and unfortunately, Time to Light is not back yet. He has some technical difficulties on his end. But I'm here for you guys. And well, I mean, I must wonder here. Gabo Catholic are looking for that playoff spot here. And it's not looking like that if they keep on playing like this. 5-0 loss is really huge. But it's one a side that beat another opponent. 21-0. I can't even do it on my fingers. 21-0 is a lot and really hard to get past. But let's see what they can do. But not much yet. As Citrix gets the first kickoff goal. And the 1-0 here. 4 minutes 15 remain and only 2 seconds played and yeah 104 uh, Bishop kill for you already <coughs> pardon me again Radisinski now goes up on the his own backward is gonna want to get it drag it over just air trouble it another uh, double commit there might lead him some open space for bishops here to shoot it can't get a shot on let's see Oh, a shot is that in? No, Citrix gets a touch on it. I'd say beautiful save by him. No, Rosie gets it out. Manticore passes in the middle to Ma Manticore. She conceals it actually, but can't do it as Radisinski gets in between that. Rosie now intercepts his pass there. Radisinski gets it in the middle, but only Manticore to meet him there. Oh, Manticore now keeps the dribble on. Gets bumped now. And I must give something to you guys. We've got time to light back. And he's going to further you guys on with this match. Hi. Apologies for that. My PC decided to blue screen for the 40,000th time this semester. Uh, if anybody oh. has recommendations as to what's wrong with the 980 SSD Pro from Samsung, that would be you know, super cool. Anywho, it looks like Bishop Guilfoyle, what, they win game one? It seems like. Or we... We're not still in game one, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's game two. They've won game okay. one 5 0. That's actually a shorter margin than I thought it was going to be. Nice job, Gable Catholic. Oh, yeah, they are. They are doing their best, but they just can't get on an attack. They just can't get an attack on points or on target. They just can't do anything. Maybe here, though, as he. Pops it up, just to go for a double tap on the backboard, but Rosie just gets in between that. As Citrix now goes for the zone with the counter attack, a shot on target, but Rydazinski with a beautiful save. Uh, still looking good. Gabo Catholic's defense has been, as you say, fairly decent. The problem is that switch back to the offense. You can see that miss right there doesn't really help, and nobody's home. 
there's where your mistakes come back to bite you, I say, as a miss, a wide open opportunity. Looks like me and my ranked games missed opportunity, but still followed up on it should be. Everybody misses, and it's 2 0. 2 0 already. And Citrix. Yeah, he just gets a little shot on, but come on, everyone misses the ball. Chaos in the six meter half. Hey, you know what's bound to happen. It's going to roll in 2 0 for. Uh, Bishop Guilfoyle and they're absolutely dem dem <laughs> dominating in this best out of five series. Oh, Again. it's continuing. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's definitely continuing here. Rhodesy there. Manscore just gets it off the other side wall there, gets it in the middle. Two players jump up for that. That's enough. 3 0 oh, and Cabo Catholic, nothing which they can do about a beautiful shot of uh, Rhodesy there. Uh, you're still looking at some consistency from Bishop Gilfo, something we've come to expect from them the entirety of the season, albeit all three games we've seen them play, but the entirety of the season nonetheless. Rhodesy had an opportunity to do a little, nice little backflip, but they'll leave it for Citrix. 4-0 now, Bishop Gilfo already encroaching upon their previous game scoreline, and we've just barely passed that halfway mark of game two. Oh, yeah, ba barely passed half, uh, barely passed one second past the end. 4-0. Already, 5-0 was. I mean, was not a lot what, what we what we expected, but now it's looking like more than 5-0 because the 5-0 is already in the back of the net. Rosie gets it in a wide open net, it takes full profit off of that. But we must get into get get into this get into picture as well that that beautiful pass by Citrix off the backboard, which Rosie of course takes full profit off. 5-0 already, same score as last game, only two minutes remain now. Rosie wanted a touch, was looking for centering pass. Seems like they left it to Manticore and that was a little bit more useful. Another miss from Rosie, uncharacteristic to say the very least, but Citrix is up, air dribble through, and almost ironically enough, denied by Rosie, but it won't be. 6-0, and still that same two minutes left on that clock above. It's looking really good for Bishop Gilfo, really showing themselves out in this second game of play. Indeed, indeed, and 6-0 already exceeding the, exceeding the score line of last game. Oh, that is not a kickoff you see often, where Citrix, instead of touching the ball, touches his opponent away, and the ball keeps in the middle, but that's something you must want to note here, but come on, we're looking at goals here. Let's see if Bishop can get another one here. Citrix gets it on the backboard, a little awkward for his... Uh, not awkward oh, no. for him, I would say. 7-0. Oh. Wow. It is just a show up and show out situation and consistently here for the definitive looking Bishop Guilfoyle. 7-0 on the cards. And it doesn't seem like they're going to stop. Even a nice little Porsche that's being shut down. CDB not having the uh, greatest of showings they were hoping for. Citrix uh, almost own goals. I thought they were going to for a second, but no, they will miss that. Probably one of their only misses for the entirety of this game. And Manticore now has an opportunity <laughs> to go up. They miss as well. Citrix like I said, doesn't do so all that often, and even finds a demo. That's a demo, and he's gonna, oh, beautiful play by him, Archibald, but he might have better wanted to go for a pass there. Maybe his teammate could have shot it in. A beautiful attempt nonetheless, though, but it's not in, and come on, does he care? 7-0 already, he already has four goals in the back of the net. Does he care that he missed that? Of course he won't care, but Geibel will care. If they don't do anything about it next game, because that's going to be match points for them. Well, up, uh, one minute remaining. Rhodesy wanted to pinch off the corner, looking for a centering pass. Doesn't immediately find it, so it will be cleared as far as the midway mark, and Citrix will have to collect. All in all, decent showing for Bishop Guilfoy on that instance of attack. But Geibel Catholic able to clear. That's the important part. The problem is they aren't having all that much of control on the attacking half. Yes, they got the ball there. That's the good first step. You have to have control to work with. CDB missing that doesn't help. Ryder, their shot though. That one's on goal, Ooh. just barely denied by Manticore. Keeps the clean sheet intact for the team in purple. Clean sheet indeed. Maybe a clean sweep we're going, uh, we're going to see here, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't doubt that at all. I mean, Geibel Catholic are barely touching the ball, if I'm fair, and if they touch the ball, they just give it back like it's tennis. So, I mean, I think there's absolutely no chance that they even get a goal in the back of the net here. 
But let's not be too hard, so let's give them the benefit of the doubt and let's see if they can score at least once next game. I hope you can see they need a couple goals, if not just one. They haven't been able to find anything at all. They've gotten zero goals in back-to-back -back games, now 12-0 in terms of overall score. And it's just been clean as ever, and definitively so for Bishop Gilfo. But in all fairness to Geibel Catholic. It's been clean as ever for Bishop Guilfoyle all season. I said it earlier, I'll say it again. They won a game 21-0. I, I make of that what you will. 21-0, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's huge score lines. And if you see that as an opponent, you got to be a little scared, a little bit shivering your timbers there. But I think Geibel Catholic are shivering their timbers a little, timbers a little bit too much here. And I don't think they're even going to be close at a win here. I think Bishop Guilford are going to be finishing it here. Whether it's 21-0 or 1-0, they're going to win here. Just a matter of how far the distance is. Can Geibel Catholic make up for it? Will we see another clean sheet already? Offensive zone time for Bishop Guilfoyle. It's been four seconds. And they're still looking for some fairly clean plays between them. Citrix wanted a centering pass there. Manticore stayed back, and rightfully so. But very narrow touch there. Doesn't find all that much. Nice follow-up from Ryder Zinski. Does send it forward. This will go off the back wall. Dangerous ball, but Rosie there to shut it down. And Citrix gets a nice delaying touch, really to just mitigate some of that pressure as they get team bumped. Come on, Rosie. Oh, but is no. he musty flipping his own team net? What? Uh... To be fair, I, I, I give them the rights to do that. I mean, they're just in free play at this point. Come on. They they, they know what to do. They know they're going to win, so why not do it in a fashion or a good fashion? Well, I don't think that goal was even meant to be a goal, but it's in either way. Rhodesy gets it in. 1-0. It's a back. I think they were expecting a double tap there, but they don't need one. Still 1-0. 45 seconds in. It takes a little bit longer than I think we were expecting for Bishop Guilfoyle there. Probably another goal was on the cards. Citrix, that one should waterfall down, but just narrowly doesn't. Shows you how good my reads are in games. Why I cast. However, it's still a centering ball. Rhodesy goes bar down, but bar away is the problem. Now offensive opportunity for Geibel Catholic. They're streaked back the other way, though. Manticore doesn't get the touch they were looking for. And a triple commit! No, not everybody's supposed to go for the ball. Now nobody's home. Rosie, looking for a redirection, sends it up for Manticore, wants to go for it themselves, but they'll be denied. Luckily, Geibel Catholic gets back for that one. Geibel oh Catholic, indeed. And now maybe a goal there, but not even close. Oh, oh a shot there and a goal! A goal, yes, a goal from Geibel Catholic. One other than CDB 1032. I would have expected it from Rydasinski, but CDB gets it. 1-0, and they're back, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they are not losing in Game 3. That's that's the first step. Not losing even after a goal is scored. Now looking for a second one here. Citrix will deny that one. I think a little bit of a, we'll say arrogance. There's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. And I think Bishop Guilfoyle may have passed it just a little bit. There is still three and a half minutes left in this game, so by no means is it over. Another shot on goal. This one becoming a little bit more contentious. Rosie and Citrix coming together once more. That one doesn't get immediately cleared, and Citrix will have to take a second opportunity at it. But now, opportunity back. They don't have their flip anymore. They may not need it, but just narrowly will they be 50 away. Ooh, and now CDB has the ball. He's going to want to get it over Rhodesy. Rhodesy gets it to the side where Citrix meets the ball there. He's going to want to freestyle here. Flip reset. Gets one, but use it to miss the ball. Manticore now under the ball. A little awkward. Orthodox misses the ball, unfortunately for him. Rhodesy continues the ball to get it on the backboard with a questionable flip reset. But CDB saves that shot of Manticore. Now he tries to counter attack. Going to keep the ball. Shoots it. Just to shoot it, but... Citrix gets a save, he's going to continue to an air dribble, maybe to a double tap, or immediately it is in, yes it's, oh, uh, no, um, it is what? not. 98% <laughs> of the ball was in the back of the net, the remaining 2% is what kept it away, I mean, close as close can be in a game like this, Citrix, another shot on goal, Ryder Zinski will deny that one, somehow the fourth defender alongside the third defender are participating for Geibel Catholic, another centering ball, that one not finished off and Citrix now up oh. once more. This will have to be a pass. They don't have the boost to go for the shot and they can't even set up the pass properly. Manticore still will put it on net. But again, Ryder Zinski there to send it away. Citrix now has boo. He's going to want to do something here. Air dribble. Maybe a simple air dribble will do it but it's saved by CDB once again. CDB, the absolute MVP of this game, is doing everything to keep his team alive here. And 
I mean, uh, we can talk. Oh, Citrix gets it in the back of the net. Speaking about CDB, we're not speaking about CDB, CDB here. Citrix now gets it in the back of the net with a beautiful banging shot that was looking to go off. But curls in the top corner. 2-1 and Bishop Gilfoil are in the lead once again. You gotta say, it's becoming a problem for Gribal Catholic. A sweep now seeming more than at least statistically likely. A goal lead for for Bishop Gilfoil. The only time they hadn't been leading all series was either the beginning of each game or the most recent two minutes or so. And to make things even worse, Gribal Catholic has not had the offensive zone time they've needed to really set up what could be a comeback. Now's a great time compared to ever to really set in that comeback. Rosie, the only one in the back of the net. Orthodox, however, cannot send that one home. That one again cleared as far as the corner just for it to be sent back in. Nice delaying touch, keeps it in the air, but Ryder Zinski up wants to touch but will not be able to find it. That one should mitigate all the pressure. Now nobody's home. Gribal Catholic needs to decide it. No, I was going to say they need to save it. But CDB, they trip over their own feet, or their own wheels, I suppose, and it's 3-1. <laughs> 3-1 again, and... Uh, again, it's not been 3-1, let's be fair here, but... 3-1, it's it's close, but yet so far for them. Gaibo Catholic are doing everything to get back into this, but... Bishop Guilfoy aren't taking this game as seriously as they were in Game 1, I'm pretty sure. But a double tap maybe from Rhodes, he can... Got another goal by 3-2 here, indefinitely, no, not definitely, it's interesting it takes a stop on that. Rydazinski now shoots it, but, or not Rydazinski, CBB shoots it, but Rosie gets a beautiful save there. Rosie just continue, just continue to counter attack, has zero boost, so his teammate goes up for the aerial shot there, but Manticore double jumps, or not double jumps, jumps and flips it beautifully in the back of the net, even though... It's 4-1. What a game this has been. It was close until it wasn't here, Aaron. I gotta say, it was a really good game until like the minute 30 mark. And then it, it just was Bishop Guilfoyle back to your normally scheduled programming. Are we gonna see goal number five? Maybe, just goal five the other way, or goal two the other way, we'll be sixth on the game. Citrix, opportunity again, wants the musty flick. Again, will not be able to find it, even on the opponent's goal, rather than their own goal. Radzinski, still in a good opportunity, still in a good place to shut that one down. And no overcommitment from Bishop Guilfoyle. This one will not come back to bite them. It'll end up being a fifth goal in the end. 10 seconds remaining. And it seems like Bishop Guilfoyle, a uh, near mathematical impossibility for Geibel Catholic to come back. Even an odd double touch to set up the pass. I mean, sure, why not take it? And yeah, 5 1. A shot, I mean, a shot that you can't really call a shot is in the back of the net. And Geibel Catholic are totally played out of this. The last game of the week and last game of the league play, I'm pretty sure, on stream, is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. At least on this stream. On, at least on this stream last game. <laughs> <laughs> at least this is will be the last game for today. And it was a banger game. I mean, we've seen a lot of goals. And we've seen one goal for... Oh, the triple demo there. That's something to end the game off. Uh, it's uh, something. But on zero seconds, that should be just about it. Uh, and it is... A Bishop Guilfoyle 3 0. All in all, really clean showing. They finished 18 and 1 in goal differential, and they have still yet to lose even an individual game, much less a series overall. And they will solidify their spot in second place as they draw near even, if not fully even, alongside Fraser. Nope. Fraser Middle School in that second place position. Had to make sure. Fraser Middle School right now is four and two. Bishop Guilfoyle is four and oh. They've played two less games. If all of you are indeed paying attention to your algebra classes, this also uh, makes sure that this stream will end for the regular season in both Rocket League for high school, middle school, Overwatch two, and for Valorant. So that's it for the B stream. Indeed, indeed, and you're gonna be enjoying some playoff action. In next week, so stay tuned for that, and or next week or ne or that week after. I'm not no, sure. No, next week, it's both. It's it's both, but oh, yeah, two weeks. Just, two, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, it's going to be next week playoffs and the week after. You're gonna be enjoying some more tech high school or middle school series. Mm -hmm. I'm Aaron. This was time to light. Thank you guys for tuning in.